my YouTube channel. Here I share a little bit of a mixture of yoga classes and some lifestyle vlog videos and I run a yoga studio in Dublin and yoga is really where my heart is, where my passion lies and it's really the reason I started this YouTube channel so I feel very grateful and privileged to be able to have my yoga studio where I can film these videos for you guys and share my love of yoga. So today is going to be a short flow. I'm going to call it an ocean flow and we're really going to move with our breath and the reason I'm calling it an ocean flow is that we're going to be practicing halfway through the flow an ocean salutation. So instead of a sun salutation, we'll incorporate this new type of salutation perhaps that you haven't tried before. And it's one of my favorites, it's really fun and um, it's time for you to really play and explore your practice, your body and how you move with your breath. And so I'm really excited to share this flow with you today. And we're going to get started standing, which I know for me, I hear the teacher say and I'm like, what? I want to get on my back and I want to chill out for a few minutes. But unfortunately, to make this a little bit shorter, we're going to get straight to our feet. So come to stand at the front of your mat. Set up your feet about hip width distance. So that's about two and a half fifths between the arches of your feet. Lift up at the waist. So try to avoid collapsing into your chest. You want to draw the shoulders back. Bring space across the collarbones. Feel space for the breath. And ground down through the feet. So really feeling um, the arches of your feet lift, but the toe mounds of your feet or the knuckles of your feet ground down. Feel the inner and outer edges of your heels. A slight lift through the quadriceps, so engage the front of your thighs and lengthen your lower back down. So try not to dip into the lower back, encouraging that sense of pain almost. Lengthen up through the spine, through the back of the neck, and just begin to notice your breath. So before we get moving, I'd like you to really connect in with your Ujjayi breath which I always describe as having an oceanic quality to it. So it's going to be really a massive part of our practice today is finding that connection to our breath by listening to the breath. The more you listen, the more you notice. The better you get at listening, the more mindful you can be. It's a skill that we learn in our yoga practice, listening to cues from the teacher, listening to guidance as we move through a sequence, and then being able to connect that with listening to ourselves. When we can listen to ourselves and to others, we can cultivate a sense of compassion. So we're going to get started. So finding that slight restriction at the back of your throat, connecting in with your Ujjayi breath. And with each inhale, just see if you can find a little bit more depth, a little bit more space in the lungs and belly. With that slight restriction at the back of the throat, again, listening to the sound of the breath as it moves through the throat, into the lungs, into the belly. The bottom of the exhale, find that slight contraction as you draw the ribcage down and in. We're going to get moving now with the breath. I like us to hook the thumbs. So we're going to be doing this throughout the class. I'll just show you first you hook your thumbs and spread the rest of your fingers out wide. So, arms overhead with thumbs hooked. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Lift your knees maybe up toward your fingers. Exhale, palms wide all the way down as we fold. Fingertips to mat or hands to shins, chest forward, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Step the left foot to the back of the mat and drop your left knee down. Hook the thumbs. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Low lunge, right knee over right ankle. Exhale, hands to mat. Lift the left knee and step to the back of your mat into plank. So push down into the hands. We're going to go through an eight point namaskar. So hands are underneath the shoulders, palms are spread wide. Drop your knees, your chin, and your chest to the mat. You keep your bum lifted. Your elbows hug your ribs like they would in Cobra. Look forward. And then you slide through like a snake. Tops of feet to mat. 
belly and thighs to mat cobra. Shoulders away from the ears. Roll your lower belly up and then point your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push into the hands, tuck the toes, and lift the hips. So first down dog of class, taking time to connect in. Spread your fingers wide. Maybe you need to bend into the knees. Feel your sit bones lift. Notice your heels are hidden behind your toes, so feet are completely parallel with each other. Back of the neck soft, maybe you can tuck the chin up toward the belly button. And then from here, you're going to step the left foot to the front of your mat. So hug the thigh in toward the belly, round through your spine, and step the left foot all the way through as you come to the tip of the right toe. If that didn't work for you, grab the back of the ankle with the left hand and pull it through. Drop the right knee. Inhale, hug the thumbs, arms left. Low lunge, push down through the right toe. Exhale, hands to mat, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back, hands to shins or thighs. Push the shins away, chest forward. Exhale, hinge from your hip creases as you fold forward and down. Inhale, foot to standing. Hook the thumbs, arms out in front, spread the fingers wide. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands release to prayer at the heart. Well done. Again, hook the thumbs, inhale, lift the arms, lengthen up, strong legs, tuck the chin or tuck the tailbone. Exhale, arms out wide, fold forward and down, weight forward in the toes. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen the spine, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of your mat, drop the right knee, hook the thumbs. Inhale, arms lift, low lunge, lower belly lift up and in to support the lower back. Exhale, hands to mat, plank. Step the left foot back, shoulders over wrists. Inhale in your plank, exhale, knees, chest in. Drop your knees, keep your bum lifted, arching your spine, chin and chest light to the mat. And then slide through like a snake. Tuck the feet to mat, elbows hug your ribs, lift your chest, engage your quads. Cobra into down dog, push into the hands, tuck the toes, lift the hips. So never feel like you have to straighten your legs in your down dog. If you feel like you're rounding into the spine at all, it's better to find the bend or the ease in the backs of your knees instead. Draw your lower belly up and in. Slow down the breath, connecting with that vagina or oceanic breath. Roll forward plank and hug your right knee to your chest. Thigh to belly, lift your hips, step the right foot through, drop the left knee. Inhale, hug the thumbs, low lunge. Exhale, hands to mat, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, straight away. Push your shins away, extend your chest forward. Exhale, hinge and fold over the thighs. Hug the thumbs, flow to standing, arms lift all the way up. Exhale, hands release to pour out the heart. And again, we'll do it one more time each side. Hug the thumbs, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, swan dive, arms wide, chest forward, leading with the heart. Inhale, hands to shins, chest forward, lengthen into the spine. Exhale, left foot step to the back of your mat, drop the left knee. Light as you hook your thumbs, lift up energy up through the hands. Exhale, hands to mat for plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin, eight point namaskar, arch your spine. Slide through like a snake. Inhale, belly, thighs to mat, point your toes, ground your toenails. Exhale, down dog. Push into the hands as you lift your hips up and back. Well done. Round into the knuckles, especially the space between index finger and thumb. Wrap your triceps in toward each other to broaden across your upper back. We're going to step the left foot forward. Round through your spine. Shift forward. Bring the thigh to the belly. Don't worry. It doesn't get all the way through. Help it through with the hand. Drop the right knee. Hook the thumbs. Inhale. Arms lift. Exhale, hands to mat, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, hands to shins, chest forward, lengthen through the back of the neck. Exhale, hinge and fold forward over the thighs. Float to standing, hug your thumbs, maybe a little bend in the knees if you float up. Hands release to prayer at the heart. Last time, hug the thumbs, inhale, lift. Lengthen down through the lower back, arms wide, fold forward, exhale, as you hinge from hip creases. Inhale, hands to shins, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right foot steps back, drop the right knee. Inhale, hug the thumbs. Arms lift, low lunge. 
Exhale, hands to the mat. Step to plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Arch your spine. Go press to upper back and then slide through cobra. Inhale, space across the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Again, taking your down dog as a little resting pose if you feel you need to find child's pose, do. You want to take this time to connect back in with the breath, grounding through hands and feet. And then roll forward. As you roll forward, thigh to belly, right foot steps all the way forward. Drop the left knee. Hook the thumbs, inhale. Pushing down through the feet as you lift. Exhale, hands to mat and float to the front of your mat. Step the left foot forward, hands to shins. Ripple your chest forward, sit bones back. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Hop the thumbs, float the arms all the way up. Hands release to prayer at the heart. Okay, so we're going to move through a little bit of a standing sequence now. I'm just going to wiggle my bum, my legs. I'm feeling a little bit tight in my hamstring today. Okay, so from here, hop the thumbs, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge and fold all the way forward and down. Hands to shins, chest forward. Exhale, fingertips to mat, step the left foot to the back of your mat. So from here, I'm going to demonstrate the first um, sequence of this, and then we're going to repeat it together. So it's a sequence of movements that we're going to repeat over and over. So we're going to keep the left toes tucked strongly. You're going to inhale, float the arms all the way up. Low lunge, exhale, you lift the left knee, bring the hands to prayer at the heart, high lunge. Inhale, warrior two, drop the back heel, open the arms, open the hips, shoulders over hips. Exhale, lift the back heel, hands to prayer, high lunge, square off the hips. And then inhale, low lunge, you drop the left knee. Okay, so we'll repeat that five times. So make sure your right knee is over the right ankle. Your left toes are tucked strongly and your core is going to be really active for this whole sequence. Inhale, float your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, lift the left knee, hands to prayer at the heart. Warrior two, inhale, drop the back heel, open the arms. Exhale, square off the hips, lift the left heel, hands to prayer. Inhale, low lunge, drop the back knee, arms lift. Exhale, hands to prayer. Draw, lift the left knee and wobbling. Inhale, warrior two, open the hips. Exhale, square off the hips. Lift the back heel, hands to prayer. Inhale, float arms up, drop the left knee, low lunge. Exhale, lift the left knee, hands to prayer. Inhale, warrior two, breathing as you move. Exhale, square it off, hands to prayer. Inhale, low lunge, drop the left knee, arms lift. Exhale, hands to prayer, lift the left knee. Drop the back heel, warrior two. Inhale, heel to arch along with the feet. Exhale, square it off, lift the left heel. Inhale, low lunge, lift the arms, the last round. Exhale, lift the left knee, hands to prayer. And then inhale, warrior two, square, open the hips and hold it there. Okay, so from here you're going to check that you have that heel to arch in line with the feet. I'm on my yogi bear mat and I have this line in the middle of my mat so I can bring the line to the heel of my front foot and the arch to my back foot which is handy but if you don't have it, don't worry, you can do this yourself, I did for years. Right knee stays over the ankle and we're going to reverse, so right hand flips, inhale, exhale, left hand to left thigh, right arm extends up and over, so I know this right thigh is probably screaming. Getting very fiery. Stay with it and find your breath for three, two, one. Come up for side angle. So either the right elbow rests gently on the right knee as your left arm extends over the left ear. Keep pushing your hips forward and tucking your tailbone. If you feel like you have quite open hips, you can bring the right hand down to a block or to a mat on the inside of the right foot, holding it here for three. Breathe for two. And one circle the left hand all the way down to the mat. Lift the left heel. Easy twist. Bring your right arm towards the ceiling. Breathing deeply. And 
again. So we release the right hand down and step the right foot into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Eight point on the scar. Glide through cobra. Space across the chest. Elbows hug your side body. Exhale, down dog. Take a nice full deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, let go. Round through, we're gonna bring that left knee in towards your chest. Scoop your belly and scoop the thighs to the belly. Step it forward, drop the right knee. And inhale, low lunge, tuck the thumbs, arms lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge, fold over the thighs. Float to standing, arms left all the way up. Exhale, hands release to prayer at the heart. Okay, hug the thumbs. Inhale, arms left. Exhale, swan dive, arms wide, chest forward and down. Inhale, hands to shins or fingertips to mat as you stretch chest forward. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of your mat. Drop your right knee if you need extra cushion for the knee, maybe a blanket or double over the mat. Keep your right toes tucked. Keep your left knee over your left ankle and we're going to move straight into it. No time for rest. Inhale, arms lift, shoulders over the hips. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lift the back knee, high lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Drop the back heel, arms wide. Exhale, square it off. Bring the hands to prayer as you lift the back heel. Wobble shake, don't worry. Inhale, drop the back knee, arms lift. Exhale, be playful with your practice. Lift the back knee. Inhale, warrior two. Open the arms, shoulders over the hips. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lift the back heel and square off the hips. Inhale, arms up, right knee down. Exhale, lift the back knee, hands to prayer. Third round. Inhale, warrior two. Open. Exhale, hands to prayer, lift the back heel, square it off. Inhale, low lunge, drop the back knee, arms lift. Make sure the left knee stays over the ankle. Exhale, lift the back knee, hands to prayer. Check in with the left knee, drop the back heel, arms wide, don't allow the left knee to collapse it. Exhale, square it off, lift the back heel, high lunge. Inhale, drop the back knee, arms lift. I'm feeling hot. Exhale, hands to prayer at the heart. Inhale, warrior two, and hold. Ooh. And let's take a little break there in the left the leg. Okay, lunge back into the left knee. Make sure you have that heel to arch alignment with the feet. Your hips are not um, moving away from your rib cage. Okay, so you want to lift your hips up toward the rib cage. You lengthen your tailbone down toward the mat, pushing your hips gently forward, but keeping the left knee over the ankle. Arms wide. Inhale, flip your left hand, exhale, reverse the warrior. So the right hand can come either to the calf or to the thigh. We're not collapsing a lot of weight there, so we're actually using our leg strength, our side body strength, and there's no back bend. So keep your chest facing the long side of your mat. Really nice. Inhale, lift all the way back up through warrior two, exhale, side angle. So either left elbow to the knee, right arm extends over the ear. Again, no back bend here. Your rib cage should not be visible. So we don't want to flare out. You want to keep your rib cage in. If you want to come down deeper, you can bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. But do not stick your bum out behind you or collapse your chest forward. You should be able to roll your right shoulder over your ear. Breathing deeply, remember the breath, and then circle the right hand all the way down to the mat. Spin onto the ball of the back foot. Lift your left arm, twist. Breathe here. If you need to drop the back knee, you can. And then release the left hand down, step into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide through like a snake. Cobra, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, down dog. Push into the hands, tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Okay, from here, take a nice full deep inhale through the nose, exhale, open the mouth, let go. Roll it forward, step the right foot forward, side to bend, lift your hips, step it through quietly, drop the back knee, hug the thumbs, inhale, arms lift, exhale, hands to the mat, and step to the front of your mat. 
Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, hinge, fold. Flow to standing, up the thumbs, arms lift all the way up. And we'll use to prayer at the heart. Okay, so we're going to move through our ocean salutation. So I want you to imagine like you're swimming, no, not really. Um, okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the first route. And I'll give you a few options as we move into it. Easier with your feet hip width, I think, for the hips. Inhale, we'll hook the thumbs, arms lift. Exhale, we'll fold all the way forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, lift it. Exhale, you're going to sit your bum to the mat. So you bend your knees, sit the bum back and down, and roll back. And then roll forward, land on your feet. Inhale, straight away, flat back. Exhale, fold, and then float to standing. If you find that you cannot roll forward, you can watch this next part. So if you find you roll forward, and there's no way you're coming all the way up, use your hands, okay? So you can push into the hands and come up onto the feet, okay? So starting with feet pointing forward, we'll do five rounds. Inhale, hop the thumbs, arms lift. Exhale, fold forward. Remember, these are meant to be fun. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, bum to mat, roll it back. Come on, roll it forward. Well done, inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold, don't worry if you feel like an elephant, you don't look like an elephant. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Hands release to prayer at the heart. Hook the thumbs, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold all the way forward and down, really moving with the breath now. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, sit the bum down and roll it back, roll it forward. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold deeply over the thighs. Float to standing, up the thumbs, arms lift. Hands release your prayer at the heart. Okay, inhale, hop the thumbs, lift the arms. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide, fold it forward. Inhale, hands to shins, chest forward, shoulder away from you. Exhale, bum to mat, roll it back. Inhale, arm or legs overhead. Exhale, sweep it forward, weight in the feet. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, moving with the breath. Squeeze all the stellar out. Hug the thumbs. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands release to prayer at the heart. Well done. Keep going. Inhale, hug the thumbs. Lift the arms. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide as you come forward and down. Inhale, chest lengthen. Shoulders away from ears. Exhale, bum to mat. Sweep it back. Inhale, lift overhead. Exhale, sweep it forward. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, fold deeply from your hip creases. Float to standing. Hug the thumbs, arms lift. Exhale, hands release your prayer at the heart. Keep going. Try to smile as you move. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, sit the bum down. Sweep the legs overhead and sweep it forward. Wah. Inhale, chest forward. Don't worry if you feel like an elephant. You do not look like one. Fold forward over your thighs. Sweep to standing. Arms out in front. Hook the thumbs. Inhale. Exhale, hands release to prayer at the heart. Last time we're doing this. Well done. Inhale, arms lift all the way up. Again, exhale, fold forward. I'm trying to have fun with your movement. Inhale. Chest forward, lengthen. Exhale, bum to mat, sweep it back and sweep it forward. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, hinge and fold. Float to standing, hug the bones, lift up, energy up. Hands release to prayer at the heart. Well done, everyone. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those, that new variation of a salutation. If you've never done them before, they can be a little bit and awkward to get used to, but they're actually, if you repeat them a lot, or if you wanted to come back to this class, you'll notice um, the mobility in your hips and the strength of your core um, improve so much as you um, move through them a little bit more regularly. Okay, so we're gonna continue our standing sequence. It's not too much more left to the flow. Again, setting up your feet hip width at the front of your mat. Float the arms up, hop the thumbs, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sweep the arms out wide, fold forward over the thighs, pull the lower belly up in it. 
Inhale, chest forward, lengthen. Step the left foot to the back of your mat and drop the left knee down. Okay, inhale, arms lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, palms to prayer, bring the hands to prayer at the heart. We're going to twist from here. So inhale, lengthen up, exhale, twist to the right, bring the left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Now you want to try and twist your heart toward your thumbs. You're twisting from your belly button. If you want, you can stay here. If you want to move in a little bit deeper, you can lift the left knee. If you're lifting the left knee, don't half-ass lift it, okay? We're here to build strength, okay, and challenge ourselves with our breath. So try to lift your left knee as much as you can, really activating the core. It's going to give you a much stronger base. If you want to fly away or bind, please do feel free. Any modification of this twist, and then release hands to prayer. Come back to center. Drop the left knee. And sweep the arms all the way up. Inhale, bring the hands behind the head. Exhale, elbows out wide. Slight back bend, look back. Engage your core. Lift your chest, elbows out wide. And then release hands to the mat. Lift the left knee and come into an extended pyramid fold. So if this is way too much for you, you can come into your half split. Dropping the back knee, flexing the right foot. Otherwise, our back knee is lifted, both of our legs are straight, and you can play around with pointing and flexing the right foot. If you are struggling to touch the mat and you're rounding through the spine, then stack your hands on blocks. It just means that you're bringing the mat to you rather than having to round down and reach for the mat. Okay, and then lunge forward into the right knee. Sit to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hug the thumbs, root to rise, all the way up. Inhale, energy up. Hands raised to prayer. Last standing sequence, left side, hug the thumbs. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms wide, fold forward. Weight forward in the toes. Inhale, hands to shins, chest forward. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Strap the right knee down. Inhale, arms lift. Hands raised to prayer at the heart. So draw your lower belly up and in. We don't want to collapse the belly out. It is your center, your strength. It will support your lower back. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist left. Bring that elbow to the outside of the left knee. If you need assistance, you can always use your left hand to bring the right elbow to where you need to get the twist. Twisting your heart toward your hand. Rolling that left shoulder back to open the chest. Pull your belly in away from the left thigh. If you want, you can lift your right knee. Don't worry if you wobble. Find a drishti point perhaps for the gaze. And remember to lift your right quad so that you are really activating the leg. If you want to fly away, you can. Bringing the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Keeping the right tricep to the outside of your left knee. If you want to bind, you can. Anything that feels good here for you. And then hands to prayer at the heart. Drop the back knee. Come back to center. Bring the arms all the way up overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Hands behind the head. Elbows out wide. You can interlock the fingers. I don't want you to collapse into the lower back. So keep your tailbone tucking down. Keep your lower body active. Lifting up. Press down to your feet. Lift your chest. Imagine helium in the chest. And then release. Bring the fingertips to the mat. Lift the right knee and straighten the left leg. So again, you might want to come to your half splits. You might want to use blocks. You can move. You can sway. Do whatever feels good here for you. And then lunge forward into the left knee. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, chest forward. Exhale, fold over the thighs. Root to rise, hug the thumbs, arms lift. Hands release to prayer at the heart. Well done. You have finished your standing sequence. You have finished your ocean flow. I'm so proud of you. We're just going to come down into a squat before we get finished. So you're going to bring your feet wide as your mat. Toes can point out or forward. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart. Inhale, lift up. Engage your core, your pelvic floor. And exhale, sit down low. So you might be up here, that's fine. You might be able to sit a little bit lower, keeping your chest lifted. Depending on how mobile 
lot you are in your hips. So what you don't want is your hips higher than your chest. You want the hips lower than the chest. So really think of lifting up through the chest, drawing your shoulders away from your ears, engaging through your pelvic floor, navel to spine, breathing here for five. Sit the hips as low as you can for four. Lift the chest for three, two, and one. Well done, bring your hands to the mat. Toe your feet all the way in to hip width. Lift your heels, come onto the balls of your feet, and then we're just going to roll all the way down to our back. Well done, everyone. So from here, we're just going to finish with a gentle twist. You're going to bring your um, arms out wide. You're going to bring your legs into a tabletop position, and then just allow your knees to fall to the left. Look to the right. Breathing deeply, allowing the weight of your body to sink. Really allowing things to slow down. Still listening to the sound of your breath as it moves in and out through the nose. Breathing into your lower back, into your outer hip. And slowly use your core strength, push down through your arms as you lift your shins back to center. And then allow them to fall to the right, so look to the left. You can close the eyes, you can just allow the entire body to be still. Breathe into the lower belly. Quietness. Do not worry if your thoughts are starting to pick up speed now that we have stilled the body and, not, and perhaps not challenging ourselves physically. This can be where the thoughts start to really activate again. So just know that that's okay. Coming to your yoga mat is not about stopping your thoughts. It's about becoming more mindful, more observant of your thoughts. So take on that role of being the observer. Knees all the way back up, use your core. Wrap your arms around your shins, bring your forehead towards your knees, squeeze everything in really tight, give yourself a little hug. And then shavasana, if you need blankets, socks, jumpers, eye masks, whatever it is. Extend your legs, arms by the side body. If you have lower back pain, just bring the soles of the feet to the mat with knees bent. We're going to take a few minutes here just again trying to practice being that observer of your thoughts, of your body, of your breath. Instead of engaging with your thoughts, instead of allowing your the words in your thoughts to bring you elsewhere, creating that story. Because that's all it is, it's a story you are creating with words. None of them are truly existing in the now. So trying to observe your body and your breath, two things that are constantly here, now, and in the present moment. If we can strengthen this present moment, we can prepare ourselves for strength and the best results in the next moment. If you'd like to stay here a little bit longer, please do. Pre always feel free to press pause, and I would always recommend five to ten minutes here if you can afford the time. Your body will be grateful, and thank you. When you're ready, you can press play again. We'll roll over onto the right side of our body into a fetal position. Pausing here, and then pushing into your left hand to come all the way up to seated. Try to keep the eyes closed if possible. Sit up tall. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Allow your hands to rest on your knees, on your lap. And again, just coming back to the breath. Again, observe the effects of your practice. 
the benefit of simply stepping onto your mat today and dedicating time to yourself, to your body and breath. Bring your hands to prayer at the heart, connecting in with your breath, with yourself, bowing your chin towards your chest, and honoring your practice. And namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Again, I am so grateful for all of you guys who tune in and enjoy my clothes and share my clothes. If you did enjoy and if you do watch the channel, I know sometimes I'm guilty of it as well. I don't subscribe, I just type in and search. Um, but I would love um, for you to subscribe and like and comment um, on the video and hopefully I can continue to bring you more new content every week. And always feel free to request a video in the comment box below. I'll be including and the links in the description box to my mat, to my Allo Yoga outfit, um, to the studio if you are ever in Dublin and want to pop in. So always check the description box below just to see any relevant links. Okay, thanks so much and 